I'm John Barnett, I'm an archaeologist, and welcome to the Ecton Mines. There are thousands of abandoned mines in Europe. Ecton in England is one of the most famous ones. As our life requires more and more raw materials, we have to search for new ways to find them. One of the options is to reassess old mines, but as most of them are flooded, to carry out safe and cost-effective surveys, serious technological innovations are needed. The UNEXMIN team has been set up to develop an autonomous robot solution called UX1. Only 60 centimeters in diameter, which will autonomously map the abandoned flooded mines and gather valuable geological and mineralogical information. Under the lush pastures of the Peak District National Park in central England, valuable minerals can be found. On top of the hill, they started mining in the Bronze Age about 4,000 years ago. By 1790, it was one of the biggest mines. It earned the Duke of Devonshire a fortune. They were 300 metres below river level and all that had to be pumped whenever they were mining there. We know a lot about these upper workings, those that aren't flooding, and we understand them well. But beneath the water, no one's been there since the 1850s. The deep shafts and the historical mystery make Ecton a perfect test site for the UNEXMIN project. As UX1 has already proved in other test sites, it has no problem with cruising in murky waters. But to reach the dive sites, it needs considerable help from its creators. Ecton Mine Educational Trust has adapted a small stone building, originally built by a former owner, into a well-equipped study centre. For three weeks, the main teaching room is being occupied by engineers and scientists representing seven countries, and it's transformed into a state-of-the-art control room. They have various communication lines with the dive site down below, from people to people, from people to robot, and from robot to computer. The UX1 is armed with dozens of high-tech instruments for mapping, sampling, and evaluating. And all of it needs to be prepared and tested before the dive can start. It seems like everything works according to plan. The only question is whether the plan works in practice. There are old schematic drawings of the deep shafts. But the only thing historians know for sure is that they depict just a fraction of the reality. This is the opportunity by diving in the water with the submersibles to find out for the first time what is there. No one knows what awaits an explorer in the shaft. Therefore, careful initial mapping is essential before the descent. Everything is going fine. The UX-1 can finally leave the surface. Now is the time for the underground team to ease up a bit. Pressure is now on the mission controller. The robot can operate underwater for up to five hours. The surface team in the control room is eagerly watching the transferred data of all types, as they want to get the most out of every second the UX-1 spends exploring the underwater mysteries of Ecton. Each monitor is set up to display different kinds of information. The UX-1 builds up a real-time 3D model of its environment by analyzing and combining flow meter, sonar, laser beam, and accelerometer information. The tension in the room is palpable when the depth exceeds 100 meters. Indeed, it would have been hazardous for a human, 
but the UX-1 can confidently carry on with the operation, even under difficult and dangerous conditions. As a historic mine, this is one of the most important in Britain because it was one of the richest mines in Britain in the 18th century. It's protected by law as nationally important. There's 300 metres of flooded workings and they're very complicated and we've never known in any detail what's beneath the water and now we're starting to learn. UX-1 is a robot developed within a UNEXPIN project funded by the European Commission in the frame of a European Union Horizon 2020 framework programme for research and innovation. 